Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This video is all about uh, removal of iCloud log from Apple devices. You have already seen my previous videos where I have shown the removal of iCloud from uh, iPhone 4th and 5th generation devices. This video is all about removal of iCloud activation from iPod. So let's go ahead and do the process. First you have to turn off the device. So once the device is turned off, you have to put the device in DFU mode. Uh, it basically involves holding the home and power button together and letting go of the power button once the Apple logo disappears. Yes, then now the device is uh, in DFU mode. So this software here is not the regular uh, SSH.jr software. This is a modified version of it, uh, wherein we have linked the iPod to the software through the server so it is now downloading all the required uh, hacks and details uh, directly onto the uh, ipod so this does not involve downloading of software to a system and then doing the unlock like the previous uh, old versions of the jar software this is the updated and uh, modified version where we have linked the uh, directly the device to the server so this downloads all the required data and the hacks directly onto the uh, iPhone from the server. So this makes the process pretty simple and easy for everyone. And uh, in the previous, uh, in the SSH.jr software, uh, people would face issues like uh, a network not working and uh, they could not connect their devices, some devices to their uh, iTunes and stuff like that. So uh, all those things are eliminated in this version of the software. In this, the device will completely be unlocked and you can use it like a normal new device after the unlock is done. This does not involve the complex steps and procedures uh, which was being used in the old version. It is currently downloading all the hacks directly to the uh, Apple device itself. So let's wait for the process to complete. It is now exploiting the device. The first step is done and the exploit is already sent to the device. So now the RAM disk has to be exploited. So let's just... It is almost done. Yes, the exploit is already sent to the device now. Now, uh, all we have to do is just make a hard reset of the device. For that hard reset process, uh, we have to again put the device in DFU mode. It is the same process. Uh, so this is the connect to iTunes mode. We actually need the DFU mode. So let's put it back to the DFU mode. Yes, now the device is again in DFU mode, so iTunes has already detected the software. So let's go ahead and restore the device. So the device is now getting restored uh, from the iTunes. So this is like basically just exploiting the device and it does all the process using the server based solution which we have created. and. Uh, all you have to do is uh, do a hard reset in the end and you are good to go like you can use it like a new device without any complication or without any issue of iCloud cropping up again on your device it will completely be removed so you are free to use your device however you want we are also doing a video on uh, iPhone 6th and 7th generation devices like iPhone 6 and iPhone 7s uh, once that is done, we will upload the video so that uh, you people can follow the video and do the process and get the unlock done. Uh, we are uh, trying to put up a very simple and basic uh, solution and steps as in where everybody can do the unlock process very easily. So this is one such attempt to do it. Uh, iPhone 6 video will be coming up shortly. So this is currently getting restored.
let's wait for the restoration process and once it's completed you can just log into the device uh, you can set it up as a new device so this will be a permanent unlock and uh, the iCloud never crops up again until and unless you put a new iCloud ID and you again forget it so like this is the ultimate solution which is currently available it is the easiest solution available till date so those things which the software downloaded while exploiting it needs to be done using the server or we have to we can even replicate the same process in the iPhones uh, iPods have a unique serial numbers which we have used it on the server to link this uh, Apple device to the server use the, uh, the software downloads the information uh, by matching the two the uh, serial number on the device and on the server so the same way can be replicated on the iPhones wherein the unique feature is the IMEI number so the IMEI number can be matched on the server so that the device can directly be connected to the server the software can just download the information onto the iPhone devices and do the same process we'll be uh, we are already doing up a video on iPhone 6 which we'll be posting shortly so you people can know how the process works and everything And restoration has to be done only on DFU mode and not on connect to iTunes mode. If you do the restore on connect to iTunes mode, you will face a lot of problems like uh, it might throw up an error. Sometimes it just restores the device uh, and majority, uh, majority of the times it just fails to restore the device. It shows up an error after whole process is completed. So be careful and put the device in DFU mode before restoration. iTunes has already sent the software to the device so it is already now the iTunes is verifying for the iPod software so even this step is basically like Apple have created a foolproof system wherein the device information the device serial number is getting uh, recorded on the server to check if it is an authentic device with the same uh, ideology is used in our server too to do the iCloud unlock process so verification of the iPod is being done The firmware is now restored and it should come up shortly on the iTunes. The iTunes will recognize the Apple device. Yes, the iPod asks, uh, your iPod has been restored message has cropped up. Now you can see that uh, the uh, iPod will be turned on as a new device and you have to do it as a create a new device like don't restore it from the backed up data of the previous details or anything as such just do a clean restore like uh, create as a new device and this process which is going on currently in the iPod is the verification of iCloud lock so this happens in all devices after the restoration process is completed so if at all any iCloud details is uh, available on the Apple server it just downloads the device, uh, downloads the data uh, in this process. So you can't skip or stop this process. So if at all any iCloud is there, this in this process it crops up again. So this is where everything happens. The previous installation was of the iTunes, uh, was of the iOS software, and this is of the iCloud software.
and the iPod uh, has been started successfully. Yes, iPod uh, setup has been complete now. So you can just use it as a new device. English and next continue and uh, okay just uh, make it as a setup as new ipod touch because uh, don't restore it from the previous uh, details so just set it up as a new uh, ipod touch agree and uh, yes start using the ipod and yes you are good to go can use all the details everything is done general everything even the software won't work because it, the network is not connected so yes pretty much basically everything works now you can use all the details okay cool everything is working and uh, you're good to go even the itunes has recognized the device so you can just uh, see the iPod details here. Set it up as a new I iPod. Continue. Yes, it is just syncing the singing and everything is going on now. And all the details have uh, has come up here. So yes, your iCloud has been successfully removed using this process using the server method, which is pretty much uh, simple as compared to the previous versions of it so we have updated the software and uh, uh, the details of iphone 6 video will be updated shortly so please subscribe to my channel and make use of this feature to unlock your iCloud. thank you have a great day goodbye